Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? The day is finally here. I am finally here to show you how to create a DIY protein treatment that actually fixes and repairs damaged hair, restores curl definition, and promotes hair growth. Because what's the goal? That booty crack length hair, honey. Yes, exactly. You ready? And while you're here, I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out and I hope you will be inspired to subscribe. Let's get into it. So why am I doing a DIY protein treatment? Well, for the longest time, my favorite protein treatment was the Apogee 2 Step Protein Treatment. I have multiple videos on it because I completely loved it. It not only contains one silicone, but it actually contains two silicones. And because I find that silicones coat my hair and they leave my hair feeling dry over time, I decided to cut silicones out of my hair regimen. But I still wanted the benefits of a aphogee or an aphogee-like treatment. So that's why I came up with this. Aphogee is mostly made up of water and hydrolyzed collagen, which are actually super easy to find, and we'll talk about that in a second. It also contains conditioning and emollient ingredients such as panthenol, vitamin E, and buriti oil. And keeping all of this in mind, I knew I could create a simple, easy, and inexpensive DIY. Matter of fact, it costs less than $5 to make. The first ingredient is water. We're going to need eight ounces or one cup of water. And I boil it on the stove for five minutes to get the water nice and hot. Now I'm going in with the secret ingredient, which is gelatin. And I'm using the Knox brand. I will link everything down below. And you're just going to need one packet. You can get a box of four for two to three dollars. So that's just what, 50 cents? Amazing. Gelatin is almost entirely protein and contains as many as 18 beneficial amino acids. As a derivative of collagen, which is the most abundant protein in our bodies, gelatin actually binds to the hair to offer strength and fortification. It also reduces breakage, repairs damaged hair, smooths the hair cuticle, and adds shine. In addition, Gelatin is the richest food source of the amino acid glycine, which prevents hair loss and promotes hair growth. Because gelatin is partially hydrolyzed or broken down into smaller pieces, it can actually penetrate the hair strands unlike other food items such as eggs or mayo, which do not contain hydrolyzed proteins. I'm not saying that eggs and mayo aren't good for the hair, but they simply sit on the hair strands holding the strands without deeply penetrating to actually repair the hair and fix damage from the inside out. Now we're just going to add the full packet directly into the water and give it a nice mix until it's all dissolved. Now that the gelatin is all dissolved, it's time to go in with eight ounces of conditioner. I'm using a cheapy rinse out conditioner and I will link it down below. All you need is a nice cheap rinse out. You don't need anything expensive. You just want to make sure that the conditioner is protein free because the gelatin has more than enough protein to strengthen the hair. After mixing the conditioner into the gelatin, I pour it into a bowl and I let it sit in my fridge for 30 minutes to cool down. While my protein treatment was cooling down, I did hop in the shower and wash my hair with shampoo. The shampoo that I used was super moisturizing and I will share all the details in a future video. This is what my hair was looking like. It looks amazing but it was long overdue for a protein treatment. I have not done an intense protein treatment in 3 months. I'm supposed to do one every 6 weeks but somehow time just got away from me. But be better than me and do better than me and use an intense protein treatment every 6 to 8 weeks especially if you have fine breakage prone hair. First thing I'm going to do is go in with my hair growth oil on my scalp. This is just something that I've been doing a lot lately. I like the idea of doing a hot oil treatment on my scalp and a protein treatment or a deep conditioner at the same time. I don't know, it works for me and I find the most benefits when I do this. And I'm just focusing the oil at the scalp. I'm not running the oil throughout my hair. I'm just keeping the oil at my scalp. 
Now I'm going in with the protein treatment and my lights are a bit bright, but it's really creamy. It's not gunky like Jello. It's literally a cream because I emulsify the gelatin into conditioner. So I didn't like this so it wouldn't be messy. Other videos I've seen on gelatin treatments, it's always messy and runny and I wanted a creamy and smooth mixture. As soon as I applied the treatment to my hair, my hair instantly felt stronger and my curls started to pop out. My ends that were looking a bit stringy popped right back into place. Y'all see that? Y'all see how my curls are just popping and clumping together? That's what we want. We want juicy, clumped curls because that shows that the curls are healthy. I just repeat this process, applying oil to my scalp and rubbing it in. And of course, not forgetting my edges because what are we without our edges? We are nothing without our edges. In the words of my curl sis, chest is of Alexis. I know people are going to ask, well, how do I know if I need a protein treatment? If your hair is breaking off, if you see a lot of little pieces in your shower, in your sink, if you feel that your hair is mushy and is somehow over moisturized, it is time for a protein treatment. I find that it's sometimes hard to keep up with it, so I like being able to keep on a schedule. That's why I recommend doing every six to eight weeks. Sometimes you won't even realize your hair needs protein until it's too late. So I recommend being on a regimen that is what works for me and even though I am on a regimen I still forget and I still don't do it as often as I need to so I recommend trying to be on a regimen as much as possible if you want a detailed video on protein treatments and deep conditioners and when to use them when not to use them definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up if we get this video to 2,000 likes I can definitely work on that video so just let me know this protein treatment doesn't make your hair feel as hard as Apogee, but there is still some firmness to the hair. Just paint the product on and press it into your hair, but don't try to detangle or do too much. I did end up using all of the treatment, but I know a lot of you are not as heavy handed as I am. Maybe your hair is not as long, maybe it's not as thick, so you can always just freeze the leftovers. After applying the treatment, this is what my hair is looking like. Look how nice my curls look. My curls are just bouncing out like a wash and go. I am just so happy with this treatment. You see, I have definition from the roots to the ends. That's what we want. We want our hair to be healthy from the roots to the ends. Then I just braid my hair up in two sections per usual. You've seen me do it multiple times on my channel. I then put on a plastic cap and I sit under my bonnet dryer for 30 minutes to allow the treatment to penetrate into my hair. And per usual, everything that I'm using will be linked down below in the description box, so definitely check it out. After applying heat for 30 minutes, it is time to rinse my hair out and my hair felt so good. It felt soft, but it also felt strong and balanced. My hair felt amazing. I am rinsing my hair with warm water. I always use warm water on my hair. I never use cold water. Warm water works best for my low porosity hair. This treatment brought my hair so much shine. It brought so much body. My curls were popping. Literally such a great experience. Look how shiny and healthy my hair looks, y'all. Like, look how good my hair looks with this protein treatment you don't necessarily have to follow up with a deep conditioner you can just go in with a moisturizing leave-in because i hadn't washed my hair in two weeks i did go in with a deep conditioner but it will depend how your hair feels after the treatment if your hair feels a bit hard or a bit rough Definitely go in with a deep conditioner, but if your hair just feels soft and balanced, then you don't need to go in with a deep conditioner. Your hair will tell you what it needs. So let me know, what is your favorite DIY treatment if you do do DIY treatments at home? And if you don't DIY, let me know what your favorite store-bought protein treatment is. Like I said, I recommend that everyone try this DIY. It's so easy to make. It takes less than 10 minutes to make and you'll have an amazing, amazing protein treatment 
that will change the game forever. After I rinsed my hair out, I did put my hair in two sections per usual while, and I air dried my hair under my t-shirt towel until the next step. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.